Um, and we're here to listen to what I think are one, one of the most exciting set of plans for Burnham on Sea. It was back in the dark days of autumn 2007 when the council faced up to some pretty stark financial realities. We needed to find £1.8 million to legally balance our books. This was the legacy of decreasing funding from central government, rising costs, such as free bus passes, increased recycling, and limited scope for raising income. One of the proposals that came forward was to close Burnham-on-Sea Pool at the end of March 2008, as it was costing the council somewhere in the region of £350,000 a year. Understandably, there was public outcry, and Sedgemoor District Council came in for a lot of criticism. We fully acknowledge the level of passionate community of support for retaining the pool in Burnham on Sea. All parties understand that this is a 34-year-old pool, nine years past the industry standard sell-by date, and that Sedgemoor District Council is under no statutory obligation to provide swimming facilities, which it has done so for the last 34 years. We set up a task and finish group under the chairmanship of uh, Councillor Anne Bowne, Portfolio Holder for Leisure uh, and Sport and Culture, to look into the options for the future of the pool. This has taken some time to achieve, uh, and the pool was given a stay of execution in January to remain open until the 31st of May. I'd like to thank everyone who has wholeheartedly worked towards this day, especially Councillor Anne Bowne, Councillor Neville Jones, Councillor Arthur Thurigore, Good, and especially Teresa Harvey who's in the audience here today. Without more ado, I'd like to introduce you to Sarah Jane Cox on my right here and Mark Colpin on her right, uh, who are the new leaseholders of, of the building, and they will give us a brief outline on the new Burnham on Sea Swim and Sports Academy. And, and Neville has told me that I should say, now the ball is in your <laughs> a quick presentation so you can see where we're coming from and then we'll field any questions that you have afterwards. Yes. And when you do ask questions, if you could possibly say who you represent, it would be handy for us as well. Um, so I think we'll start by saying I think most of you have the press packets and you know about Mark and myself, so we won't go through what we've done in the past, we'll just go straight into uh, what we want to do with the pool. So, the Burnham Sea Swim and Sports Academy, that's the new name we've chosen. Um, Sedgemoor District Council and you, and this is all about move, moving Burnham Pool forward. No one's right, I'm going to feel like I'm going to feel like I'm So, why are we are here? Obviously you know that Burnham Pool is facing major challenges after 30 years, 34 years of serving the community. And the pool was nominated as the most endangered pool in the country for threat of closure just one month ago, as we saw in the Daily Telegraph. Um, the Burnham on Sea and Central Council have done an amazing job of keeping this going for 34 years. And uh, that's a major point that it's, you know, they didn't have to do it and they kept it going and it's still, still going today. Um, but obviously in today's market, the pool is no longer viable. Now, the key driver of public support, we saw a petition for over 7,000 people. Uh, who signed that petition, it's proven to us that a 25 metre pool is a vital resource that has great benefits for Burnham and its residents. So we obviously share that passion and convert this, this, convert this passion to a reality. We can do it. We have the resources, we have the skills to implement an innovative approach to regenerate the Burnham pool and we have the commitment to deliver unequal value to you. So our value proposition, we're going to make Burnham on Sea Swim and Sports Academy a vibrant lifestyle destination for all. We're going to promote health and improve the well-being of our citizens one swimmer at a time. And we're going to be renowned for the Swim and Sports Academy's high level of service and end user accomplishments. Maybe more than one swimmer at a time, a few swimmers. But we're going to start with each individual, everybody's an individual. And, uh, 
So here's that credo, here's that motto. We're going to create opportunity, we're going to strengthen our community, and again, we're going to do that one swimmer at a time. So our strategy. Vernon Pool is now the Swimming Sports Academy, and it's going to be more than just a pool. We're going to be a swim academy. The focus is on teaching, lessons, and coaching. And we're going to take swimmers from non-swimmers to Olympians. We have the ability to do this. But also, the pool is still the main focus. I don't want to get away from the burn pool. It's, it's, swimming is still our main focus. But we're also going to turn it into a sports academy as well. And again, the focus is on lessons. It's going to be an academy for triathlon, for running, for cycling, for fitness, and for yoga. We also want to put in a health and wellness center, and what I call a sporty spa. And this is going to be a physiotherapy, podiatry, a therapy pool for the older generation, senior citizens who have fit replacements, they can come to our pool, get exercise, we want to work with their local GPs to bring them into the pool. We're also going to be an event centre. We do amazing events run out of here already, the Vermonty Triathlon, the Open Water Swim. We want to continue with that and grow. We want athletes here from all over the world. We don't just want local races, we want to bring in national races and eventually international races. We're going to have expos here, we're going to have health clinics, we've got visiting speakers coming in, really exciting things ahead. We're going to have swimming sports camps where we're going to invite people to come and stay for a week. They can stay in local accommodation, they can train with us, we have the trainers to bring in. And we're also going to have an energy lab coffee shop, a business swimming alley, an international multi-sport retail store, a whole concept to make this a vibrant lifestyle destination for everybody, not just a swimmer, it's for all the population to come to. Our commitment is that we want to hear your opinion. We will quickly resolve these challenges that we face. And I said we're a small company, so we can do that very quickly. And we're going to position the Burnham Sea Swim Academy for improved growth, efficiency, and customer satisfaction. Okay, this is our concerns. Um, obviously, last year the pool incurred a loss of £299,434. And uh, Sedgemoor had to subside three pounds thirty-six for every swimmer, and we've estimated the pool is currently costing about one hundred and seventeen pounds fifty an hour to keep open. And uh, mm -hmm. how about yes, what we can see? So we know what we're undertaking here. We're not coming in, you know, blindsided. We know what we're up against. No, we are blindsided. We're just coming <laughs> <laughs> So. We need your continued support. We need those 7,000 people on that petition to give us a chance, get this community going, make it a viable place. And together with the Session District Council, with yourselves, we can succeed. We can make this happen.